job was to keep us clean. <laughs> that was tough. Because, you know, all the big ferries going to Sweden, going to Finland, they pass by, and people just throw garbage in the sea. And you had to make a circle around that island every day to just keep up there, to clean. So I was part in the garbage cleaner. <laughs> January storm. It was really so strong that every third tree fell down. Oh. And uh, going out in the morning, I really witnessed how the storm had uh, brought uh, so much garbage that I had to clean it. I had to clean it like days and days and days. And I wrote this poem doing it. So it's everything is uh, is true here except couple of words in the end, but well, uh, I think it makes an image of same day with these words. So, um, after the storm. In the morning, I gather from the shore. In the morning, I gather from the shore silvers Slivers of broken bottles, voidex containers, vodka vera bottle, bottles, chars still sloshing and smelling of the marinade of sashlip long since devoid, trodden on sunglasses, beach radio batteries. I gather bonacros and aliens, soft drink cups, cups and bare cans, beer cans, so much, so much. So much plastic and metal and glass and not a single green and not a solitary cup with a golden handle. I gather and gather and gather on this clear morning into a black rubbish bag, hands and feet of dolls from Soviet times, the rubber head of a baby penguin. Russian border guard hat, so small, was he still a child? Bits of foam rubber, light as butterflies, flee from between my hands, numb with cold. Not a single cup, not a single ring, but so many other things. An inflatable rubber woman meant to be used in the water while swimming, full of holes like cheese, breasts airlessly drooping, toothless mouth unable to scream, inviting the open, under her eyelids, daubed with blue, still bluer eyes, filled with the emptiness of being used. What sort of man cuddled you and used you before the storm brought you here in its embers? into this clear morning, clear morning's big black rubbish bag. I tear the filmy plastic off my delicate breech roses, the leafless thorny branches need to be cleared before the heavy spring winds blow on the still unopened buds. I clear them so my proud roses need not grow through this film of plastic flown here from who knows where, the glass falling and fluttering to the thorn branches. My hands are pricked and punctured when the morning ends, but at sunset I run home, fingers 